Good morning, well, welcome to another Nick's Community Kitchen. Joined today by Levin. So Levin today is head chef and I'm the apprentice. And today we're doing Levin's favorite meal, which is uh, schnitzel. So sometimes we use chicken, sometimes we use pork. Um, today we're using pork escallop. Um, so very easy um, pork escallops, pork loin steaks, you can use chicken breasts. If you use chicken breasts, cut it nice and thin, probably no thicker than your sort of little finger because we're just gonna take this straight through in the pan. Right, um, we've done this before. We've set up um, what we call a pan -a station, flour, egg, and breadcrumb. So I'm just gonna trim a little bit of excess fat off the pork and then Levin's gonna do his favorite bit, which is taking it through the pan -a station. Um, first thing we need to do, just make the egg mix. So we're going to use um, a whole egg and a splash of milk. Use the milk because it just helps to coat the, uh, the meat easier than just the egg. The egg doesn't actually stick without the milk. Okay, so there we go. If you wanted to put any spices with this, you can. You can put it in the flour, you can put it in the breadcrumbs, or you can dust it on the meat. Uh, we don't do that. We'll show you what we do, or what Lev does later. So, with the pork, if you get one like this, the, where the skin is very thin and there's no rind, no, you don't need to trim that. But this one, a little bit thicker, so just trim that bit of rind off, because that won't cook so well under the breadcrumbs. All right, and then what I do, we both cleaned our hands. I literally, with a pan with my hand, you can, do, you can use a, a bashing tool or a rolling pin, but just press it down slightly, because again, what we said, we want, this is not gonna go in the oven, so this is really quick and really easy. So there you are, Lev, if you wanna put that through the pan, eh? So in the background, I'm just switching on the frying pan with a little bit of olive oil in it. We don't want it too hot. So the whole point of a schnitzel, and this is the main reason a schnitzel can go wrong, is that the oil is too hot and the breadcrumbs get singed too early and the meat's raw inside. If that does happen, don't worry about it. Switch your oven on and finish it in the oven. But we just want a low heat so the breadcrumbs are just ticking over and the schnitzel will take about three or four minutes on each side. Uh, you'll see in a minute, I finish mine with a little knob of butter. It just puts a golden glaze on the breadcrumbs and tastes amazing, but you don't have to do that. So, background, got the heat on. I'm gonna put the fan on today so Fee doesn't shout at me. So there you are. That's it, put a nice layer of breadcrumb on. You can do, if, you can buy these pork steaks in trays of about six, so you could easily do your family meal, do all the prep in the morning, put them in the fridge. Don't stack them on top of each other because they'll get soggy. Um, Lev's having a good old go with that one. All right, whenever you're ready, Lev. In the pan, so the front edge it and then away from you so it doesn't splash back at you. There we go. So straight away, we can see the breadcrumbs are just fizzing in the oil, but they're not singeing, it's not really active. So you'll notice I've got all the burners on my stove. I've got it on one of the lower burners, and I'm just gonna tip that away slowly. So, we're gonna use this again later, because this will be our dinner as usual. Remembering, if you haven't got any breadcrumbs, any stale bread, pop in the oven for a couple of hours. Always easy to have breadcrumbs. Something you can even do, and I've done this before and it tastes quite nice, is use stuffing mix. Stuffing mix gives it a really nice flavour. Right, so just wanted to, while we're doing these, we're trying to make make a meal of each for each day. So something that we've got today. Make sure I've got 
So this one's open. Didn't think you was. So, Lev, if you put a good squirt of mayonnaise in that bowl. So, if you can see there now, the schnitzel is nice and dulled around on one side. All right. So we're turning, going to turn that right down now. Right, there we go. So, good glug of mayonnaise. I'll, I'll put the recipes on the Green Bank website later on. Um, so that what I'm going to do is a real quick and easy, family-friendly Caesar dressing. It's not pure. I'm not a purist. This is just a larder, a larder equivalent. Squeeze of lemon juice. Then we're going to put a couple of drops of Worcester sauce. Yeah, lovely. We didn't have any fresh garlic, but we've got some garlic granules, a little sprinkle of garlic granules. Thanks, mate. Again, look, we're all the same. The last remnants of our Dijon mustard, if you just scrape some with a bigger spoon, as much as you can in there. So over with the schnitzel, I'm just going to add that bit of butter. I'm just going to start taking that off the heat a little bit. I just want that to very gently tick over. Yeah, go for it. Alright, if you've got it, some parmesan, or Italian hard cheese that you might use for your pasta. You can put a bit of grated cheese in there. I've known people put blue cheese, anything you like. Let twist the salt and pepper in the pot. There you go. Now something that we had in the fridge Left over from the weekend, we had some old hard cooked potatoes. I'm just going to pop them in that pan. It's what I like to call, and what all my chefs laugh at me, this is a good, what I call a one pan wonder. Alright? So let grab your fork and give that a really good mix. That the um, dressing. So I've got another pan, um, and this is the bit that Lev loves. This is like his ultimate schnitzel. Again, not hot, not hot oil. Crack an egg into a little bit of olive oil or normal veg oil. That's perfectly well done. But in that pan, just rip with your fingers. A bit of lettuce. Right, so maybe two and two of those. Okay, so on the go we have just a bit of salt and pepper with the potatoes. Now again you could use Cajun spice, you could use smoked paprika, you could use any flavours to um to enhance this, but we just love it as it is. And we'll show you Levin's speciality twist in a sec. Right, you'll hear the egg popping. So, yeah, give that a base over in there. You can see how quick and simple this recipe is. So I'm taking the schnitzel to one side, that's cooked. And I'm 
I'll just turn the heat up a little bit on those old potatoes um, and they're going to crisp up like homemade chips. So, we've got... Where did that go over there? I don't know if everybody else loves them, but we love as a family these little snack cucumbers. We eat loads of them. So look, really simple, easy way of getting some salad on the plate. Let's put it really honest with your schnitzel. On. So, Led made this recipe up. We use ham, we use garlic sausage, we use chorizo, any of the bits. And then Led's piece de resistance. We top it with a fried egg. homemade chips. Now, I don't know about everybody else, but I think Lev's schnitzel is one of the nicest, nicest things we eat in the week. Have a great week. We'll see you again on Friday. Not sure what we're doing yet, um, but stay safe and see you soon.